Fucking fucking. Hi there. Hi. Hello, one. Hello, all. <clears throat> Just fresh off of uh, recording show business. Should have been late with, with everything I did today because <laughs> I was invited to a screening out here in Long Island, which was really, really uh, quite better for me. I didn't have to take a train to the city. Uh, a little bit closer so of course I was jumping on the opportunity to uh, you know to, to really make an effort to go to this screening which was a, a test screening um, very little information was given out about the the film um, but when you work your way around enough and, and you go to enough screenings, press screenings, a- advanced screenings, test screenings, uh, you know, you know what certain people, well, well, which people to look for, who, who's, who's manning the desk if there's multiple people. Um, and this was certainly a, a test screening, and it, it, is, it is something that, that is probably not, not finished. Um, so, so spoiler <laughs> it's 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 not Halloween 2020 for for people who who think that Jason Blum uh it's it's interesting seeing the other the other end of of how crazy people could get based on on little vague tweets but uh people who are speculating that uh <laughs> Halloween 2020 was tested out here in Long Island on July 8th uh I'm gonna burst that bubble and, and say no, no, not not true. Um, just gave me a thumbs down. Cool, cool, appreciate it. <clears throat> no, Emily, thumbs down. That's fair. Or should I say, yikes? <clears throat> so anyway, um, a lot of these screenings. The the, the reason I I I, uh, yeah, I I circulate around to a bunch. I, I've 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 been to all. I've I've been to test screenings. Uh, press screenings, uh, advanced screenings that really aren't for the press. I, I've been to all of this shit, which, which is funny because I've, I've been to a Blumhouse production, uh, test screening for, um, what the fuck's the name of that? The, the, um, the unf- unfriended. That's the movie. The, f- the first unfriended, I was at a test screening for that. Uh, you know, they give you paperwork to sign that says, you're, uh, you know, you're not allowed to talk about it, this, that, the other, which, you know, fine. They just, you know, they ask things about you and, and what, 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 what your, what your color, uh, ethnic background, uh, sex, all, all these questions so that they could figure out their little math and, and, and there's always the most diverse of crowds at these things because they're trying to figure out. Uh, who to target these these unfinished movies to? Um, you know, but you, you sign something saying that you, you you recognize that this is an incomplete project. So a lot of the times, the the the, the CGI uh, isn't done. You know, there's like there's like literal like storyboard sometimes, and and the audio is usually kind of all sorts of fucked. Um, but I again, I I've been to these types of things before um so it it wasn't abnormal for me to to see that okay um there's a test screening out here in long island um got an email uh replied claimed claimed tickets for it went went uh relatively close to the house if i'm being honest so well i wasn't put that far out if if i was if i went to the city and dealt with what i dealt with uh, I don't. I don't know how how fucking jacked I'd be right now. I'd be fucking pissed. So Zach, I will. I will get to the yikes tweet in a, in a minute. <clears throat> so anyway, uh, I wait in line. They give you this paperwork to fill. Uh, like I said, like like I said, you you, you just you, you you admit to not talking at all about the movie, um, or or you know whatever your words like the, it's it's really really lawyerly and technical and you know you, you can't talk about 
aspects of the movie because it's not complete and any anything that that you say that affects the business of the movie you you could be sued for uh it's it's almost like a like an audience nda um and it's strange these test screenings people uh it, <laughs> these studios have faith in people who are just trying to see a free movie and a lot of decisions are like hanging clinging to the 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 thoughts of people that you know are just trying to see some free shit and you know if if you don't pay for a movie you, you'll you know, you'll say whatever like yeah yeah like the, the again not to be stereotypical but a very wide wide varied different types of people young old ethnic non-ethnic you know just just all bases covered and uh, if you know anything about Blumhouse films, it's, yeah, it, it, some some of those <laughs> some of those categories don't seem like the typical Blumhouse audience, uh, but they were all there. Um, a- anyway, it, it's really besides the point. They, they're they're doing their work. They're trying to figure shit out. Uh, again, at, since I've been on YouTube covering film, I've I've. I've been to these things. I've been to test screenings. Uh, I don't know what the difference between signing paperwork, saying you're not going to talk about it as a movie YouTuber and not as a movie YouTuber, what the difference is. But uh, uh, something's changed in the last couple of years. (laughs) I've gotten a little bit bigger. Uh, Perhaps that's it. I'm, I'm no... I'm no We Watched a Movie. I'm no Drum Dums. I'm no Cody Leach. I'm no Wolfman Scott Nards. I'm no The Horror Show. But uh, I'm not nobody either. So, so I don't know. I, 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 I can't explain it. Fuck. So anyway, we do it. We fill all this paperwork. We wait online. Uh, waste a good half an hour. Uh, and then let alone the time getting ready to and going there. We get to the line, uh, the guy uh, asks me something about, because, yeah, I was, you know, you'd be honest, you write your email address and all this other shit. And he asked me something. Oh, no, no, I was, I was, uh, I asked Emily something about the fact that there's no embargo date on, on the, on the paperwork. And uh, he was like, wait, you're, you're, you're a are you a journalist and i was like uh i'm not really a journalist he's like wait you cut what what what, what about the embar-? I, was, I was like uh, I, I i cover movies on youtube he's like you're gonna have to step out of the line i'm like i'm like what <laughs> he goes yeah yeah uh, you're not gonna be able to see this I'm, I'm sorry um come with me i'll buy you uh i'll buy you tickets to it to a different movie and I, I was just like, what the fuck are you talking about? And, 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 and we just walked away at that point. Like he started walking, like the place was packed. Uh, it's a Monday night in a, in a dank movie theater, which by the way, um, it's already happened. So I guess I could say that. It, 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 actually, I didn't go to the fucking thing. So I could say it was at the Roosevelt Raceway in Westbury, which if you know the area of Long Island, is the dankier movie theaters of the two you have the roosevelt field movie theater which is a mile away and it's way cleaner nicer more comfortable updated uh, whatever roosevelt raceway a uh, little bit bigger boxier uh they could have reasons to be there but uh it's just funny that um yeah, you would think people that you're trying to get their their best their best opinion on you, you'd want them comfortable, but that, but that's neither here nor there. I just found it funny that first of all, I get this email through the the, the same service that uh, I would get an email for a press screening, any other type of screening in in the city. Uh, sometimes, very rarely, there's screenings out in Long Island, so that's that's why like this this was exactly like. Um, lights out there was a screening in in Suffolk County which was a little bit closer uh, Suffolk County is a little bit closer to me than Manhattan New York City is 
um, and I went to a, a lights out screening. That was just an early screening though. That wasn't a press screening. That wasn't, it was just, you know, it wasn't a test screening. It was just, you know, them. Uh, there was one of those things where they were filming the audience. I think that's what it was. You know, when you watch a fucking trailer and then you see like the, the green dark screen of the crowd being all fucking scared. Uh, I, I think it was one of those deals. Um, anywho, the, the thing that I found funny was first of all, you sent me, you sent me an invitation to this fucking thing. You you know, you have my email address. You have all my information, because you know of me as a movie YouTuber. Uh, you you know I cover movies. What are you sending me a fucking invitation for to begin with? A, B. If you know I'm a journalist who covers film. Why the fuck do you think a a ticket to another film would make me happy? Y- you know that I that I cover movies. What, what, oh yeah, okay, you know what? Let me go watch Toy Story again instead of watching this fucking test screening. Like there there's so many different things that that happen in like and and Jason Blum was was there. I really wish I had kept a cooler head and, and actually went over him and just <laughs> and and said, "Dude, what the fuck?" Um, I think I think the director was there too, because um, I, I I think I recognized a uh, picture. Um, I don't know if I can I, I, see. I don't, I don't even know how much I can say, but you know the the I, I didn't I didn't see the movie, so I I can't tell you anything about the movie. Uh, I wouldn't be able to if I did, but I got kicked out. I got fucking kicked out. I got asked to leave because because I'm a journalist. Um, best of luck finding some <laughs> some some journalism from good old Sipo on the internet. Uh, yes, YouTube does count. It it, it counts. But uh, the point being, I never should have been invited. Uh, if if that was the fucking deal, if you weren't supposed to have people affiliated with with the industry in any way, shape, or form, uh, or, or grade, at that matter. I wouldn't consider myself a heavy hitter at all. I'd say, if anything, I'm <clears throat> mashed small potatoes. Um, but the invite should have never gotten to me. Um, again, if I had went out to the city and wasted a train ticket and, and that much time, then I'd probably be a lot more pissed especially with the let me buy you another movie ticket offer. Yeah, no, okay, pal. You, you, you now acknowledge the fact that I watch movies and cover movies for a living. Do you, do you think there's something in this building I haven't seen yet? You fucking moron. Uh, and then so, you know, uh, when, I, when we got home, uh, relatively short, short travel again uh, that's a lot of the reason why i'm I'm not (laughs) as bothered as i would be uh if i had to go to the city i'd be i'd be banging on tables you know getting myself arrested asking for my fucking train fare back and shit um oh you know i should have asked for food instead uh that could have been a good trade-off instead anywho um so i get back and, and and see you know uh, on Twitter, I'm getting all amped up, ready to tell the world that, you know, f- f- fuck, fuck this Mickey Mouse production. Uh, and I, and then I started remembering, oh yeah, Jason, Jason Blum was, was there. And sure enough, he, he tweets, he, he tweeted it out, heading out to Long Island to, uh, to hopefully the, the, what, what was it? Heading to Long Island for a test screening, hope, hoping for a rowdy crowd. Well, yeah. <laughs> your people at the door were certainly trying to influence that with their fucking interesting uh door keeping measures like there's there's three there's three stages of paperwork that we shouldn't have made it past the first one if 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 that were it like we we were right by the door to get these pink wristbands um so he sends that tweet out which you, which you can see e I never do it backwards. Fucking hell. Well, it's, 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 it's right here. What, Emily? What are you doing? Uh, I can't see what Emily's saying. 
But if, if he offered a pretzel, I don't know. I, I, maybe I keep my mouth shut. That, that's, a, that's an excellent, excellent point, Emily. But at, at this point, uh, at this point, it's, 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 all, it's all past the point. I, you know, I, I'm well past getting one over with a pretzel. You, 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 you put me out. Uh, and, like, the more I think about it, the more I'm like, well, what the fuck? <laughs> um, so, anyway, uh, Jason Blum uh, heading out to Long Island for a test screening, hoping for a rowdy crowd. Aha, uh -huh, aha, uh -huh. hope to piss off some journalists. Uh, so, I, I reply, I said, hey, thanks for asking me to come, then telling me to leave. Um, I didn't expect any response and as a matter of fact if if he didn't respond I, I'd kind of feel better but uh, he responds just recently uh, yikes exclamation point which I I don't know what the fuck that means yikes is that like ooh mm, mm. how about sorry that happened uh, sucks to hear that yikes is is not enough for me, sir. Uh, you know, you, you could have made it up to me and instead of offering me a ticket to a film that that <laughs> I, I already had access to, perhaps extending an olive branch, sending me a message or, or, or contacting me and saying, hey, hey, I realize, you know, it, you shouldn't have, you, you shouldn't have gotten an email for this if we didn't want journalists and press at this event let me make it up to you uh why don't you come to an early thing or i don't know so, so something else that they're relatively tied on speaking of halloween um that would be um i don't know that that might make me feel better i i, I don't know um, how'd they know you're on YouTube? Zach, um, you, there's a ton of paperwork. There, there's a double-sided sheet you have to fill out. Uh, again, it, it's a test screening. You have to basically sign your life away saying you're not going to talk about this movie. Uh, you're not going to say one way or another how you feel about it because it's, it's, it's incomplete. Um, and then there, there's other things they, they make you write, like, uh, your job, your your email address, um, phone number, social media handles, so on and so forth. And the, uh, there's also notes there. If you're uh, if you're at all in the film industry, entertainment industry, those things. I had filmed. I uh, filmed. I had filled that stuff out. Got through three people. With, with 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 all that you, you know if if the the big thing they're looking for is to kick people who who are uh journalists and in the industry out you would you would think that the the first thing they would say oh shit uh you gotta go but no i i got through three people and and only because i mentioned uh i i was joking with, with emily about a embargo because she she was making jokes about you know the length of time that uh that y you have to swear to not talk about this movie. I'm like, so the embargo is forever then? <laughs> and the guy was just like, whoa, wait a minute, uh, journalist. He kept saying journalist, and I I I, I think is it, uh, yeah, movie freak six eight eight says that yikes is a fuck you. Yeah, I I tell you what, guys. Um, uh, I'm not. I'm not impressed. I would have rather been ignored than a yikes, because it, it it seems condescending. Um, all all I can say is, you know, if you if you go back and look at at my stuff, I, I don't really try to influence one way or another. I'm not a heavy hitter. I'm not. I'm not Rotten Tomatoes accredited. So, uh, whatever my thought was to begin with. Uh, is kind of inconsequential but again I've been to these things before like it it's it's a contract what the fuck does it matter uh, if if the person who's staying quiet is the owner of the company uh, a bread maker 
a journalist. If you're all, if you all have to stay quiet about the fucking thing, what does it matter who it is? I, I, again, that that's not really the point. I should have never got the email. I should have never got the invite if if that were the problem. And this fucking yikes bullshit, dude, not cool. I'll tell you what. When when a certain movie produced by Blumhouse comes out, I'll be sure and let the world know if they should run out to the theater and see it. My exact words will be yikes. Without any any sort it, it it's funny. I, I always make fun of the, the people that think that people are in uh, or, or Disney is in people's pockets. Uh, this this might as well be the reverse scenario for me. Uh, I, I've been so turned off by this film without without seeing a frame of footage. Uh, Blumhouse, uh, you know, the fucking yikes. It really, really rubbed me the wrong way. I don't know. Listen, he, he, he's, a, he's an EP, he's an executive producer of a company that runs around and buys property and then distributes it. Uh, from what I understand, the, the little homework that I have of this film in question is something that um, he and Blumhouse went and paid for. So it's not like he sought somebody out, uh, saw a script and said, yeah, make this. Uh, from what I understand, which I certainly can be wrong, this is something that was already shot and and planned and, and done, and he just gave money to distribute, and now they're trying to figure out how to capitalize. Yikes. Um, uh, seems like him and the people being patronizing. Yeah, I, I, I would I would think that. How do they know you're on YouTube? Uh, oh, no, I answered that. I have people tell me to sort off on a regular basis. It's a British thing. Uh, Jason Blum and the door guy. Oh, yeah. The, no, the door guy straight was... was you you got to step out of line. Like, you would have thought that that I had a gun. Uh, or, or, like, I was rolling a camera and saying hey guys look at this this is how it works here uh but no he you, you I, I he overheard me say the word embargo in a joke and he was like no oh, no are you a journalist and i i i i genuinely was like a, a journalist no i'm not a journalist uh, i i cover movies on youtube and he's like no you gotta you, you gotta you gotta go um i'll buy you a ticket for for no, first he said, "How many are in your party?" And I, I should have let Emily go. That would have been my fault, my bad, Emily. I said, "There's two of us," and he's like, "Well, come on, uh, I need you out of the line," because it was packed. It was, it was, it was packed. Like, because they, they, they packed the theater full for these things. Uh, you know, they had to get me out of line to keep the, the cattle moving, and the offer of buying me a ticket to something else is just hysterical. You, you, you know I'm in the industry and you're offering me something that, that if you used your head for longer than five seconds has very little value to me. It's like asking some, I don't, I don't know, asking a, a retail worker uh, at Best Buy, oh, <laughs> no, I, I, I can't even properly get an analogy going, so fuck it. What movie did I see? I did not see a test screening, and it was not Halloween 2020. Uh, I bet the movie's going to be trash anyway. Yeah, the the cast is nothing, uh, nothing to hang a hat on. I'll say that much. Just throwing it out there. More higher ups don't have a clue who work for them or how they how they act. That's that's fair, Zach. But um, replying to my tweet with a yikes. Uh, replace yikes with that's unfortunate or sorry to hear that. Uh, bad, bad, bad businessman, bad, es especially. Uh, yeah, I, I hope I hope he gets to the bottom. I don't know if I'm 
a big enough force for him to really be worried about me. But I hope he gets to the bottom of it and finds out. Oh, all right, there's there's a there's a t teeny bit to 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 fret. Reply with something snarky back. Uh, I think I did. I think I did, and I alluded to the name of the film too. Um, he didn't see it. He was turned away. Blum probably. Uh, yeah. Uh, just throwing in most, yeah. You know, uh, this is why we have underground boss. Well, uh, okay, then what movie were they showing at this test screening? Uh, again, it, it wasn't, it wasn't Halloween. You know, I, I, I still have paperwork over there. Like, yeah, I, part of me hopes that they, they still, uh, and fucking apologize and do right by me because because this it, this is kind of bullshit i don't know how many how many bridges i want to burn in one week uh off topic a little bit have you ever applied for membership in the online film critic society i'm pretty sure you qualify i have not thank you he still can't say i, I mean i i if you if you want to run over to imdb and see what what Blumhouse is producing, you can probably figure it out. If if you'd like to run over to your local IMDB uh, uh, website to look up, the, you know, the future projects for Blumhouse, uh, you know, a lot of people check box office mojo but but imdb is my sweetheart when it comes to information i bet 90 percent of you still don't get it um that's all you are to jason blum cattle he doesn't care no i i, I wholeheartedly agree uh, and part of me wishes that 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 i had i had somebody like like Cody Lee, uh, Cecil, uh, Wolfman. We watched a movie. One of those slightly heavy hit, heavier hitting fucks, just to, just to be like, all right, well, here you go. Here, 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 here's who you're pissing off. Here's my my subscriber number. Here is the amount of people I reach out to. Whatever. Um, I mean, I don't have sycophants. Some 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 of these you know, online YouTubers do. Uh, I don't have that power yet, but shit, I'd, I'd love to be like, hey, listen, guys, uh, I wouldn't go watch this movie if I were you because these people are assholes. I wouldn't, I wouldn't want that. That's, that's like the first rule of fucking business. You don't want a bad word of mouth. Uh, and I was happy, happy to sign that dumb contract and, and keep my mouth shut, but this is so fucking stupid. Yikes. I can't wait. I can't wait to like, you, so you, in case you haven't figured it out, um, when, when this movie does come out, if it comes out, perhaps it just gets fucking buried. Uh, I can't wait for people to ask what I thought of a movie or, or, or whatever. I'm just going to drop yikes, exclamation point. It's a seasonal movie, I think. It is not a seasonal movie. It's not Black Christmas. You're just pissing off the whole world. Uh, LOL, I figured it out. There's one big Blumhouse project here. You said it. I didn't. LMAO. It's not a season. No. No, no. You've said sweetheart twice today. Ha, 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 ha. Tom Roberts. I don't know why you would say such a thing. Uh, you, oh, oh, Zach, Zach, you might want to, you might want to run and not move. There you go, there you go, guys. You got it. If uh, the the puzzle pieces are are pretty down low. Uh, it's 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 there. But I don't, I don't think the fucking, at, at this point, I don't think the title matters. Like, again, I didn't see the fucking thing. Zach, it doesn't start with a C. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, 
all right, you know what? Here, I'll, I'll, I'll help you even further. Um, uh, um, Clark Gregg is somebody you might want to look into. I really enjoy the Avengers, everyone. And Clark Gregg uh, on the horizon, you might want to look at his future. Uh, sounds like when Cody Leach was ripped off by Adam. Yeah, well, at least, yeah, and Cody Leach has the has the the numbers to to get a an answer. I don't think I do. I get a yikes. I get a a Jason Blumified GFY pal. Nobody gives a fuck about screenings in Westbury. What's funny is East Garden City. Like like he tweet. Uh, somebody liked the tweet. I don't know if it was him or not, but is it like? It, <laughs> I, I hope. Like, I, I I I don't know how to explain it. Like this this rubs me the wrong way. This this all like uh, East Garden City. That that's 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 here. That's the thing. He, he, he fucking. I, he, so he he tweeted. He tw he could have been he could have been outside the house when he tweeted. Yikes! For fuck's sake. Yikes is Twitter speak for fuck off. I agree. Coming out in January to garbage fire. I don't think it has a release date. It's it's not done. Literally no one was interested in that movie anyway. Have you guys ha, are we all on the same page yet, guys? Like seriously, that cast and director. Yikes. <laughs> uh no info on it. Yeah, because they're not done, Zach. They're not done with the fucking thing. They're letting they're letting forty eight year old Long Islanders figure out what how they how they <laughs> wrap the movie up. Oh, Daniel Hammond. I don't know why you would say such a thing in the chat, but Daniel Hammond, man, you you're. <sighs> Thank God Daniel Hammond didn't sign a waiver, huh? Yikes. Feminist horror. Woof. So anyway, uh, I would have had nothing to say about the movie anyway, because I, I, you know, I signed it. I, I like they had the paperwork and then they kicked me out. Um, I've done this before. I, uh, I again, I saw unfriended. Uh, at a test screening where, where some of the some of the computer effects weren't done yet uh, I, I, I've, I've been to a myriad of different types of screenings it, you know being in New York it, it, it kind of helps uh, and they, they do they trickle these you know <laughs> I, I was silly thinking that maybe this is something crazy uh, they're not gonna they're not gonna screen Halloween, Black Christmas, some major tentpole film in fucking Westbury at the Danky Theater. I'm telling you, there's two theaters in Westbury and one of them's Danky and that's where this one was. Oh, Cecil, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, I'm a 90s baby. Uh, yeah, Blumhouse is becoming pretty cunty now. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know what to say. Yikes, yikes, uh, dude! I'm telling you, any any time a Blumhouse movie comes out, I'm just gonna say yikes, just yikes. They own Black Christmas. Yeah, he he decided to to fast track that shit. They're uh they're trying to have that done by Christmas. Yikes. Wait, are they are they fucking are they the purge too? They're a lot of shit. Like, what the fuck is Blumhouse? Blumhouse was something. Truth or Dare, I think, is Blumhouse, right? That was fucking abysmal. Uh, like I said, uh, I don't ever have high hopes for remakes, but this one from the get go, I had no hopes for. 
Yeah. So, uh, guys, uh, you know, I, I don't know what to say. It, it It's strange. You should have just said, this is not my first rodeo buckaroo. They would have let you right in. Yeah. You know, I was I was just so I was just so like taken back and and more frustrated, frustrated, surprised. Uh, first of all, the the building that we were in is my the, my old theater that I used to manage. So it like there was there was so much ironic about being kicked out of this screening, and the fact that he offered me like it like tenfold. It was it was hysterical that he's like, no, nah, I'll you know come on, I'll 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 get you tickets for something else. Oh okay. Let me watch Toy Story again. Fucking Momo. Uh, I already say yikes when I see a Blumhouse movie. Blumhouse is basically every 2010s horror. Yep. 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 Will I yikes it? Oh, Skyman, that's fucking funny. Oh, will I yikes it reviews. Oh, get out. That's that's why he's still fucking relevant. Hey, you know what? Maybe uh uh Felix, you want that to be a t-shirt? Yeah, you know what? I I I I I, I didn't see your comment first, Zach, but the more I think about it, if I just take that tweet and make that a t-shirt like Jason Blum's replying to Willis Greedy at Yikes just making that a shirt would that would that a uh, would that interest you guys cuz i fuck i think i'll make it for myself every screener i go to just wear that shirt yikes yeah don't for, don't forget about me i'm the yikes guy i missed the whole story damn have to rewatch no i got kicked out of a, a test screener uh Cecil because i because i was a journalist <laughs> By the way, I got invited to the screener because I'm a journalist. So, l listen, I, I don't, I don't, like, I don't care about not being allowed in because of, you know, they want, you know, non, non movie people, whatever. Don't fucking invite me. Like, like that's that's the problem. And, and don't try to make up for it with with free movie tickets to shit that's out now. Hey. Do you want to you want to have me back for for fucking Black Christmas a month early? Uh, I'll I'll take that. It's it's really strange because uh, these these screeners are are kind of funny because uh, they're just renting the theater, so it's not like a business. It's not like if you bought an air conditioner at Best Buy and it broke. They, they, you know, it's their fucking thing. They, they got to do right by you. This is just, um, hey, we're letting you see a free movie. You don't like it. Yikes. Which, you know what? That's, that's all well and good. I, I hope, I hope it was worth, you know, really rubbing me the wrong way. The, the tweet, the tweet again. Uh, I, I was, I was mildly bothered, uh, that, you know, <laughs> especially when I found out what the movie was. <laughs> um, so mildly bothered that just the, 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 the string of events, uh, when I realized Jason Blum was, was actually in the building. That's where I was like, uh, I could have, I could have walked right up to him and complained and be like, dude, what the fuck? I, it's, it's a lot easier to think of shit after the fact, but, um, the yikes reply that just threw me over the edge. And I just said, you know what? fine if somebody's watching mm -mm. Mm, i'd get a yikes shirt castaway meets predator is that what the is that what the description is no it's a uh, uh make a shirt with chasing bums money <laughs> i'd be all right all right all right so the shirt's gonna happen cp what's your house what's your thoughts on blumhouse uh, your checks in the mail, Trini. Uh, yikes! That's that's my thoughts. That's that's an official rating from here on out. Yikes! Exclamation point. Blumhouse. Can't wait for Halloween 2020. Yikes! Yikes! All right. There's enough. There's enough. There's enough gusto. I'm gonna make a shirt. 
I think I'm just gonna just gonna screen grab that that like his his fucking Twitter thing, <laughs> and that's the shirt. Just the fucking screen grab of that. Yikes. Uh, sorry, you were treated like crap. Ah, I'm you know it's all right. It it's it's all right. Like I just wish, I wish I were bigger. I wish I were Cecil. I wish I were Cody. I wish I were Lee. Uh, we watched a movie. I wish I was a little bit more a bigger deal just to be like, all right, motherfucker. Uh, you know, you could, you could yikes me all you want, but I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I may not, I may, may not fuck up your, your numbers a whole lot, but I'll fuck them up. Cause God knows Cody fucked up Adam last, uh, what was it? Last year when, when Adam tickets, he made a video and he had enough behind him I, th I think at that point he was at like 20,000 subscribers they got right back to him that was all over about $20 mind you I, I could be burning bridges oh no I'll never be able to go to another universal oh uh, no I don't think that was universal I, th I think it was Blumhouse I don't think universal yeah. what is universal anyway uh, another Jordan Peele movie uh, just who the fuck uses the word yikes anymore? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm trying to get it. Hi, XT. <laughs> Thank you, Skyman. The hashtag yikes t shirt fund. I, I appreciate it. Um, okay, thanks. Bye. Okay, Trini. It was, it was good, good talking to you. Uh, that's. What reviewers are saying about sweet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I might, uh, I, yeah, I'm official film journalist. Yeah, that was, that was like, that's where, like, I didn't, like, I, again, I signed paperwork. So I didn't want to, like, fucking get myself fucked over where I get myself in trouble. And he's like, you're a journalist? I was like, no, I'm not, in, I'm not a journalist. I mean, uh, and I was like, I cover movies on YouTube. So like I, I, I am, I am affected by embargo dates, but I'm, I wouldn't call myself a journalist. And like, right when I was just like you he was like, all right, no, no, you got to come out of the line. And, and I was just so, so flustered. <laughs> and then he's, he's just walking towards the, the concession stand, which is in the middle of the, the, the lobby there. And he's like, uh, I, I'll pay for a different movie for you guys. <laughs> I, and then I just, Emily and I, I took Emily. And we just started walking the other way. Like, dude, another movie. Get the fuck out of here, dude. What? What? Which? What, what do you mean? Which movie do I want, want to watch a second time? Get the fuck out of here, bro. Uh, reminds me. Yep. They should treat you the same no matter who you are. Yeah. The, the. The big problem is I signed your fucking contract. I said I'm not going to say a word about the fucking thing. What does it matter? What does it matter if I made the movie? I, I, I signed something saying that I publicly wouldn't, wouldn't talk about the film that I saw, which I did not see. And I'm being kind, I think, by not saying the title. I mean, I'm not really protecting it either, but... Uh, you know, go fuck yourself with, with, with this weird shit. You, you, you're trying to gauge the most diverse audience I've ever seen. And like this, you know, this is a test screening thing. I get it. Like you're trying to, but this is where movies get fucked up. This is where like dumb movies that you're like, oh, why, why, why did they do this? And it ends up like pleasing fucking nobody. Because they're trying to please, like they're they're going off this group, this this hodgepodge, of people that are, you know, sixty percent of them are just there because it's free shit. If if you want to make, uh, <laughs> a good thriller horror movie, why not have a thing? Send out an email. I don't know, like I don't know how uh, other than me how how these people were invited to this thing. Ask them some questions other than their skin color, their 
their uh, their sex sex. I don't know why I wanted to say sex like that. Um, get more than that. What do you do for hobbies? What what uh, what what do you do on the weekend? What what do you what types of movies do you like to watch? None of those questions are on that fucking thing. Oh, okay. You're a you're a 48 year old black man who likes jazz. Here you go. Saw. What do you think? Oh, you hated it. You 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 would change this. Okay, you heard him, Jerry. Kill the third act because fucking. 48 year old black man who likes jazz from fucking Carl Place <laughs> doesn't like it. It just doesn't make sense that, like, all of this. It's just so stupid. Um, oh, Raiders, thank you. You don't have to do that. Uh, have M draw Chase and Blum saying yikes for the shirt. <laughs> yeah. Um,. You can call me Sky. Man is an actual last name. Oh, all right. Thank you. That Jordan Peele would direct a new film called Yikes set to release fall 2020. Dude, I'll make a poster for Jordan Peele's Yikes. It, see, the problem is that, yeah, we're having fun, and it'll it'll just it'll just make Jason like if if it gets cute and funny enough, this fucking guy will just think of it as a joke and uh, embrace it. And part of it is motherfucker. Just respect me a little bit. I get it. I'm nobody. Oh, right, you know what? No, I'm not nobody because I couldn't watch the fucking movie with the other nobodies. I'm, I'm, I'm too much of a somebody to, to sit with the nobodies. But when it comes to shit like Disney screenings, I'm a nobody. <laughs> like, like I, it, I'm the perfect fucking catch-22 of not enough. Um, you're having an amazing few weeks, CCP. You should, you should have said what you do you should have said what do you do discriminate against journalists now yeah um i i, I again i was so f like when, after i left i thought of like 10 different things that i would have said done whatever i was just i was just so taken back they offered to buy me a ticket to a different movie yeah yeah that that'll do it yeah yeah all right you don't want me watching this movie because i watch too many movies you know what will help Another movie. That, that'll that make me feel better. Hey, bro. Hey, also, bro. Yikes. Yikes. Felix wants you to make a yikes shirt. Thank you. <laughs> she said, why me? No, thank you. I'm almost done. I'll wrap it up soon. Twitter's blowing up. Uh, I, yeah, I can't see who's liking it. My phone is just... Uh, I can't, like, I, I'm, uh, I'm horrified to see if, if this fucking clown just leans into this shit and, and is a, like, uh, dude, I, you, you could own Friday the 13th someday. Please don't piss me off. Like, like, I really don't want to fucking hate you. But like, this is so cunty. Uh, like you said, at least have it be something equivalent. Like you should get to see Black Christmas early or something, not something that's out now. Chelsea, uh, that's that's all I'm asking for. You know, uh, that th that's what that's what like the retail equivalent is of this situation, and, and that's the problem here. It's kind of, you know, the the thing with 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 regular nobodies. Excuse me, everybody, for 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 putting it like this. People just free shit. That's all they care about. And what's fucked up is these people who are just there for free shit are molding films that some of us have genu genuine interest in. Not like anybody has interest in this other project that is not Halloween, that is not <laughs> Black Christmas. Although, you know what? Shit. They could... Uh, again, I haven't seen a frame of the film. We're getting we're getting Black Christmas in December. They could they could re they could pull a Hellraiser and rework this movie, and it could end up being Black Christmas. 
that type of shit has happened. I mean, fuck Hellraiser. How many Hellraiser movies are, you know, they were something else first and now they're this shit. Uh, now, now, now I'm kind of intrigued. I, I wish I had seen a couple of frames. It'll be interesting. I mean, I know, I know who's in it. I know, uh, I, I think the director was there. I, I think I saw the director, but, uh, Wait, wait, I'm, I'm catching up. They made they made CP waste 30 minutes filling out stuff. 30 minutes and then three different, like they had a guy at the front at a desk with, with the verifications from the emails and all this shit. Mine was on my phone. Um, and then they, they checked off something and then they gave you a double-sided sheet to fill out. Uh, and then you, 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 you go by one person. And then, it, you know, it was like like old school bank teller line. Uh, and then you pass another person, and they, and then they tell you, uh, get in one one next to each other. It's, it's not for seating purposes. It's just because the line is getting so long. And then you, you show them the paper there. That was two. And then finally, to, to get wristbands right before going in the door, if if I hadn't joked, because we were looking over the, the list, like it was it was extensive, even by by test screening standards. It was extensive, the amount of shit that like, there was there was no end date that you were allowed to discuss the film. Like I've like I've seen things where it's just like uh, not until the, the the projected release date is January of 2021. Uh, please don't uh, mention anything about this movie until then. This was just fucking. You're not allowed to talk about this movie. What for forever? And then I said some I, I, stupid me said something about a. Um, uh, uh, embargo. And what's funny is if I didn't say anything, they were going to let me through. It's so fucking strange. Like, like way, way to go. You, maybe you missed a couple there and, and you know how you'll, you'll never find out because they signed a waiver saying that they won't say anything. You could fucking sue people otherwise. Why does it matter? Yikes. Yikes House Films. I like that. Sounds better than Halloween 2018. Yikes, name of your sex tape. Make a movie per poster for Yikes and put that on a shirt. Yeah. Agreed. More information needed on people. Like, they shouldn't take what I have. They shouldn't take what I have to about with an actor or what I hate in genre. I, I'm, I'm dyslexic. Uh, like they shouldn't take what I have about with an actor or hate in a genre or I don't like. Yeah, they should they should cater to like if the listen, if you're trying to get a mass audience, that's one thing. But if you're if you're making a feminist horror, there's certain people you just you're just not going to win them over. Why? Why have them there? And why? Why? Why do you have them filling out these comment cards that that affect the decision? They're adding to a percentage that they shouldn't. Like they're they're already they're already some zero. Listen, uh, you know, grandpa who who just wants to watch fucking, you know, great British bake off has no interest in fucking Blumhouse movies. So just consider him lost. So yeah, but no, they, they gotta be diverse and have all this, this every member of every everything there. So here's this guy who's a zero. That that drags down these other numbers. Meanwhile, you have these 18 to 34 year olds that perhaps enjoy the fuck out of the thing and think it's perfect. But no, the, the total score is a 52. So we got to, we got to figure something out. Fucking, fucking filmmaking, man. Journalism, excuse me. <laughs> journalist. Fuck. Now that, that's the shirt I'll make. CP, journalist for hire. Um, no, in all seriousness, Jason Blum can fuck himself. Now he just showed his true colors and seems like he didn't give a shit about the people who watch his films. Yeah, and, and I'm a little in between, like, again, a little in between. I, I I don't know, maybe, I'm trying to think, maybe he thought I was being shady? Maybe he thought, like, I, uh, Zach has a point that he might not have the details. I, w I would, I would assume he doesn't have the details, but maybe, maybe, uh, he thought I was being rambunctious and was asked to leave for, you know, like drinking or, or whatever the fuck. And 
uh, again, yikes, dude, d don't, don't reply. Find out what the fuck the deal is. And, and then, you know, say, you know, that, that's fucked up. I, I, I understand how you feel. You shouldn't have got the email. You shouldn't have got the email. That that's probably where it starts. Oh, by the way, we've got this little slasher coming out in December. How would you like to see that early where you have to sign something that says you're not allowed to talk about it? How would you feel about that? Would that make you feel better? Yes, Jason. I'll, I'll cancel the press on the Yikes shirts just for that. That's a fair trade, sir. Thank you. <laughs> uh, fuck. I, oh, I'm behind. Uh, Maybe, maybe Blum said yikes because he was reading some thirsty <laughs> comments. <laughs> That's possible. Uh, although still seeing Halloween 2020, I'll bet I'll yike it too. E. Mm. The reasonable amount to ask. You just aren't asking anything crazy. Eh. I, I, I know. It, it's, it's, I, I, I get it. I get it. Uh, as unfortunate as it is, it's just the way it is. I probably mean a little bit more than some of you in the chat because uh, I have a bigger audience. Uh, but on, on the same scale, I'm not as important as as some of my friends. So it, it's just this really sick game that um, I, I'm not going to matter here. And and. Just just remember that just uh, next time you have an opinion about something that and you don't have a lot of public sway, just just how less your opinion matters. It's really fucking crazy. For the Yikes film, Jason Blum play the reporter and CP play the killers trying to get back at Blum. Black Christmas will probably be horrible. They really fucked up by not having it set in the 70s or 80s. That lawsuit with the that Friday the 13th lawsuit is like the Energizer Bunny. It just keeps going and going all because of greed. Yikes. Basically all four of them. I'm one of the few people who like them. I'm behind. Uh, Jason Blum buys up movies and shits out piss poor trash just like a land developer buys up sacred land for McMansions. Yeah, that again, uh, I, I certainly could be wrong, but it's my understanding this film was, was shot and sold or or purchased by Blumhouse and uh they're trying to uh they're trying to run out and and figure out what what audience to sell it to this untitled film feminist horror it should be black christmas it's coming out in december we should have at least a production picture by now. They act like it's plans for the Death Star. Dude, I don't know. If they haven't shot an ounce yet, I don't know how the fuck they're going to do it. Really hope Blumhouse never gets Friday the 13th. I do too after after this this day of y yikesfulness. Is it really because of greed? He created something you wouldn't want to credit for such? No, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a little sticky. But, you know, uh, Cunningham lost <laughs> like give it up <laughs> uh, you should have told them you're a big wig and they need to reimburse you for your ride over there yeah yeah uh, easy if if this were New York City if I had taken a train in I would have been a lot more pissed um, be, but because it was like in neighborhood it wasn't that big a deal but you know a fucking 40 minute train ride twice to get turned away I don't think I would have had as much fun uh, let the studio that did it chapter 1 get Friday the 13th that isn't that Warner I think that's Warner anyway Lionsgate needs Friday the 13th A24 needs Nightmare on Elm Street uh, 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 Nightmare on Elm Street's uh, Warner I don't know what the fuck their problem is Warner Warner has both. Yeah, wait a minute. CP practically said bomb on an airplane. You would think, right? You would think. 
Uh, uh, yikes journalism new shirt yikes starring cp the journalist what's up need gore is cecil still here no he did a drive-by that's fine uh when's this marathon getting uploaded still waiting yeah yeah a lot of people are i yeah fuck it. It, drama I, I i don't i don't know what to tell you drama 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 bleeds I'm just saying that Blumhouse has an army working for them now. He he more likely thinks superficially of your tweet, but as you said, the common courtesy is to ask what happened, what can I do? Not even what can I do, but s sorry. An empty sorry makes me feel better than a, than a fucking cunty yikes. Yikes. Dude, come on. There's no tone on the internet. Uh, even before today, we shouldn't want Yikes House getting their hands on Friday the 13th, but it doesn't help. Nightmare not being made doesn't... Nightmare is not being made because New Line is concentrated on the conjuring verse. Yeah, yeah, the, the conjuring is, is printing money. Uh, why would you gamble? Although, you, you want, you want Nightmare on Elm Street. Go buy another child's play ticket. Uh, if if you tell if you tell these companies with your dollars that you're willing to to look at these properties, they'll 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 act in kind. I, I don't know what they're waiting for. I think they're just trying to figure out what the fuck to do with Freddy. Yikes! First it was the drum. Now it's the blum fuck's going on well at least the drum is fine everything's fine just uh just uh taking a breather yeah he could have put an emoji yeah at least it wasn't yikes with a with a funky face on it let me check because my, my twitter has been kind of unless it's just just a bunch of you guys fucking liking the things uh i don't know who brock buck brutus of Cascadia. I don't know if that's somebody watching, but kudos for saying that. What kind of reaction is yikes indeed. Wait, you're not following me. Uh, all right, well, I'll heart it. Fuck it. Yeah, a bunch of people are getting word. Um, <laughs> uh, seven likes on the boy oh boy is Jason Blum a real sweetheart tweet uh, that's your last hint for the night ladies and gentlemen you might want to run over to my twitter to see me call Jason Blum a sweetheart run Uh, I just read the Twitter stuff. What happened exactly? Uh, Blumhouse is... They, they fucked up. Like, uh, you know what? If I, I, I get it. I get it. If they didn't want... Um, if they wanted a specific type of people at their dumb fucking test screening, that's fine. I shouldn't have been on that email list. There's number one. If it... If it started and ended there no problem or if when I got there they and they saw my information they said oh shit no you know this sorry uh, no, n no press even though there's fucking press screenings that I can attend so this is this is all some fucking sick twisted catch 22 I'm telling you I, I'm, I'm press in some places and some places I'm not like I said Disney <laughs> They'll never call me a journalist in, at a Disney screening, that's for certain. Um, so, like, th that was problem two. Problem three is, is letting me get through that line for half an hour, only to be told, uh, you, you, you can't watch this movie. <laughs> then to be offended by, by offering me a, a, a ticket to another movie. You're acknowledging the fact that I cover movies and... <laughs> and and you don't want me you don't want me in your screening because of my expertise in movies so you 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 want to make me happy by putting me in a different movie 
that I've already seen. Then it was it was the the yikes tweet the the uh, you know Jason Blum heading out to Long Island out, and I I fucked up because I knew he was there I I I mean Garden City I I know he's here, uh, that's 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 right around here, so he was he was in the building, and I fucked up I could have went up to him and and again just like all my my vague things I'd like to say to Grace Randolph about about her bizarre points on her videos. Had my chance and I blew it. Uh, and then he yiked me. He dropped. He dropped the yikes on me. Jason Blumpkin. Uh, I'd give anything to have a new nightmare. Just hang, hang on. It might happen. Uh, kind of wishing I had Twitter, just to like your response. Oh, thank you, Chelsea. It's it's all right. It's 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 right there. Um, uh, I I can't I can't show you. I I I essentially I replied to this thing on the. All right, let me figure out. Yeah, I apply. I replied to this, and I just said, uh, "Boy, oh boy, Jason." And I at Jason Blumed, is a real, and I did sweetheart. Um, look into that however you'd like. Before it gets out of hand, I don't think Blum's actively being an ass clown. Superficial statement. No, uh, no, uh, no. <laughs> no, the, he's a, a, a CEO who's, uh, who's got a problem that happened at a, at a local store. Um, but, you know, CEOs fuck up every now and again. I'm not saying this is like Papa John's level fucking up, but you know, you're supposed to go to like if you're gonna if you're gonna interact with the public, you gotta know how to say certain things. And, and again, I'm I'm in this weird middle ground where I'm I'm being disrespected as both a journalist and a a film goer so it's just like dude so you just you just don't care about my money i'm i'm a i'm a non-entity to you okay bro cool cool can't wait to can't can't wait to review the next wait isn't that this week when's the next blumhouse fucking vehicle i i I, isn't Blumhouse, Blumhouse schedule. Let's see. List of Blumhouse Productions projects. Jesus Christ. Fucking guy works, huh? Um, upcoming. All right, so Ma, that was a good movie. I can't can't say much about that. The Hunt is due September 19th, Black Christmas, December 13th, Fantasy Island, 2020, The Invisible Man, 2020, Untitled Purge sequel, July 10th, 2020, Spooky Jack, 2021. Um, where is it? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Five Nights at Freddy's, in development. Yeah, a lot, a lot of yikes, a lot of yikes there. The hunt, but let's, let's see what I have to say. On September twenty seventh about the hunt, huh, guys? Yikes, yikes. This reminds me of that episode of Black Mirror when the disgruntled man takes an intern hostage to get into contact with CEO just in search of the doorman. <laughs> yeah, there's, there's too many. Wait, they have Fantasy Island? That's new. Um, yeah, it's slated for 2021, though. 2020, excuse me. February 2020. It's supernatural horror. Untitled Purge sequel. July 10th. It's, it's a year away. No title. God bless. I don't think it's the same Fantasy Island. 
It says supernatural horror. Uh, they're doing FNAF, yikes, times two. Now that that's buried. Uh, with Chris Columbus directing, that's been in, in development for as long as I can remember. Um, uh, Spawn, which is in development by uh, Todd McFarlane. And then let's see. Uh, I, I'm just curious to see what Shauna Festi uh, career is. Who? Uh, Jonah, the greatest country strong. You're not you. Endless love. Boundaries. Oh, and then she's got this movie coming up in 2020 called Run, Sweetheart, Run. Uh, Vera Formiga. Road trip comedy? I don't remember this Boundaries movie. Yikes. I'm going to click on this other thing. There's, there's, there's no info. Uh, in June 2018, the director film screenplay she wrote. February 2019, a bunch of people joined the cast. Photography began in February 2019. Thank you, Bobby Hall. Saying yikes isn't much different than saying fuck off. I agree. That's all I can say about that. I'm just saying I'm looking at this track record and I'm not... I'm not too fired up about... <laughs> fucking feminist horror. Yikes. That's, that's, that's the yikes. Um, all right, so so that that's it. That's my that's my fun my fun Jason Blum story. More on it as it develops, if it develops. Can't wait to review his next movie. If if nothing changes, <laughs> something tells me I'm gonna give it a yikes. Uh, not based on that Fantasy Island. They're calling it a re uh, reimagining. Fuck. Gotta keep that eighty. ADHD addled FNAF demographic entertained somehow. I that thing's been buried. I don't I, I don't know if we're ever gonna see it. Not holding my breath with Spawn as much as I like to see one. It's been going through so many problems. Yeah, he's he's just got he's just got a bunch of fucking <laughs> he's got a a bunch of spoons and a, a whole bunch of different bowls. Uh purge. Yeah, I did I, I didn't realize the purges were or, or his yeah he does he does all right he does all right uh just a, a little a little modern day canon productions just all over the fucking place but again there's there's like three different reasons that that i'm bothered about this um i should have never got the invite i i, I that's that's fine that's fine you don't want people like you don't want you don't want journalists like me there. That that's fine. Don't fucking send me the email. If I if I'm not to be included on your little list of whatever the fuck the most like I said the most diverse crowd I've ever seen at any movie I've ever been to, and I'm not shitting you. They had young kids, old people, all shapes and colors. It, it, it was like. It was like waiting at the airport. That's what it was like. That's what the lobby was like of this movie. And I hate to say it, but movies aren't like that. You know, usually there's a bunch of fucking 20 somethings or whatever. Uh, you know, it, 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 there's different types of movies for different types of people and stereotypes tend to fit there. You know, you don't have fucking fucking old purple hair ladies going to see fucking horror movies like this. You, you, you just don't. 
All right, so uh, I'm, oh, I forgot there's a delay. Uh, I will wrap this up if nobody has anything else to talk about. Batista's really aiming for that paycheck. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I don't know. This, this movie coming up is, is interesting. Uh, I, I'm not in a rush to see it if you're talking about Uber, or unless there's something else that was brought up. Um, never let the catchphrase, yikes, and yeah. <laughs> or how about listen you guys if you if you want to do me a favor and let it known that you know i'm not nobody and and we we matter uh anytime jason blum delivers news that isn't you know something incredible to you i know you would never do this for halloween but if he delivers news for anything that isn't halloween related just drop a yikes just drop a yikes exclamation point. <laughs> I hope this becomes a thing. I hope this becomes a thing. And then I get invited to Halloween 2020 a month before everyone else. And then I got to come back and say, guys, the greatest production company in the world is Blumhouse. And I was so wrong. Oh, my God. And no, I'm not being influenced in any way, shape, or form to say this. Um, I I have just I have just changed my mind and and learned from my mistakes. I would love to make that video. <laughs> I have no shame, us especially if that young man picks up the Friday the Thirteenth franchise. I'm for sale. I am for sale. Yikes! In every Blum tweet, no, not oh, no, not yeah, not on, well. You don't have to do it on everyone, but anything that that, that looks remotely, eesh, yikes! <laughs> See, all right. So if we, if we get if we get yikes shirts made, we're gonna have to send him one. Just let him know who I am. Hashtag yikes! All right, uh, yeah. So somebody asked before about Tom McLaughlin um, writing a new Friday the 13th. Uh, Tom McLaughlin is the direct writer-director of part six. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's great that he's doing it. Can't do jack shit about it right now. They're, they're stuck. They're stuck legally. But I told people this. If, if slash when they figure out their legal problems, it, we're not going to wait long. They're going to they're gonna do something. Um, they're going to do something there might be a couple of things already in the works that they just legally can't um you know go ahead with i mean anybody who's who's been with somebody who's who's been divorced you know that they're like you know they're they're done but legally they're still married so they you know, you start planning and and you know moving your shit and all that stuff let's just say there's a very strong chance that friday the 13th They've moved some shit into a new apartment. They're just waiting for the divorce to go through. <sighs> Never yike alone. Please keep him away from that. Oh, no. I don't want... I don't want Vince being ruined by, by this poor man. The yike, he came home. I can't. Uh, I can't believe they'd be fool enough to release two Halloween films in the same month, could they? The world will know who CP is. I hope so. A Nightmare on Yak Street. Uh, I'll believe a new Friday the 13th when I see a trailer. It's going to happen. I, I, I've been skeptic, but I, I, I think because Halloween has been such a fucking freight train, we're going to get it. We're going to get it. These idiots are losing money, but they're going to figure it out because somebody's going to shake them to their core and say, guys, yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're fighting over $15 here, but there's a thousand there. What are we doing here? Speaking of films, I might need editing assistance. For, on what films? Editing assistance. Uh, it's like all those scripts they had for Freddy just yeah 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 right 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 there's there, there's stuff they're ready to go 
shit, even if they option one of those fucking things, they're ready to go. It's it's just they they need they need to legally be able to do so. It's it's like um the video game. They they have, you know, stuff worked out. They just they just can't because they legally can't. It's not like it's not like they deleted the hard drive. They're they're just waiting. Well, thanks guys. Thanks for letting me vent. Um, I can't wait. I I hope this story develops more than anything else. This this is fun drama. Uh, of course, it's fun drama until I get my uh, my screener card called, and and then and then then I'm here groveling and saying, oh, I swear I didn't mean it. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's the Living Dead. Uh, yeah, they're they're they're, they're keep keep posted. <laughs> I, something will come of yikes. I promise. Um. But otherwise, uh, thanks for for spending another long night at the Willy Plaza. Yikes.